I'm Diana Kander, and this is Innovation Inspiration, your opportunity to ask any questions about innovation, curiosity, customer experience that will hopefully give you an edge in everyday work. Today's question is, why is innovation important in your work? I know that you might be in accounting or in sales, and you're like, what does this have to do with me? Everything. Do you guys know what this picture is? Let me put it into some context for you. How about this one? That's right, it's a car seat from a while ago. But think about that time period. Things were much simpler then. There were maybe two of these on the market and either one obviously made your kid any safer. And now this is what it's like to buy a car seat. You walk into a store, you are overwhelmed by the selection. And when you ask the salesperson, how do I separate these two? Which one should I pick? They say, you know what? There's really no difference between any of these. I mean, do you want one cup holder? Do you want two cup holders? And that's what it's like at work today. The supply of virtually everything significantly outnumbers demand. And so how do you make a difference? The only way to continuously keep your customer's attention and get their business is to innovate. Now, a lot of people confuse innovation for coming up with big, crazy, disruptive ideas. I'm not asking you to come up with the next hoverboard or a self-driving car. That's not what I'm talking about. Innovation is defined as creating something new that creates value. Now, let's talk about that definition. Number one, new. That's so important for your customers. They expect new all the time now. What they were excited about yesterday is just an expectation for today, and it is not good enough tomorrow. Not only are their expectations growing each and every day, but your competitors are gonna see it and they're gonna copy it. And the only way to keep their attention is to come up with new all the time. Now, new what? The other part of the definition that's important is value. You can't just come up with big crazy ideas and assume that they're enough for your customers. They have to create value. So what you need to do to make sure that that's happening is not be a psychic, not lock yourself in your office and be like, what can I do to come up with things that my customers could use and could want and solve problems in their business? You need to become a detective. You need to lead with questions. You need to find out from your customers what you're doing to disrupt the sale. Could your presentation style be better? Are you asking the right questions? And what tension points do they have in your business? I promise you, no matter how long they've been a customer or how satisfied they are, they have something that's frustrating them about doing business with you. One of my favorite quotes from Jeff Bezos is that customers are always beautifully, wonderfully dissatisfied. Even when they report being happy and business is great, even when they don't yet know it, customers want something better. And your desire to delight customers is gonna drive you to invent on their behalf. That is the secret to innovation, to understand that your customers are constantly dissatisfied and that you need to come up with new ways to create value and hold their attention. There should be no question about how valuable innovation is to your work. If you want control over the sale, over your job, You've got to make commitment to constantly create new value. And it's like getting fit. If you don't set a date to go to the gym, you're never going to go. So I want you to get out your calendar and find some time in the next week, in the next two weeks, that you're going to have these conversations with your customers, with your coworkers, finding opportunities to create new value. I'm Diana Kander, and this is Innovation Inspiration. I hope you stay curious and send your questions in to right here. And I look forward to chatting with you next week.